Hey guys and girls, it's your boy Mark, and today we're going to be talking about Dean Guitars. Over the past couple months, I've had a lot of you check in and ask me for any kind of update regarding Dean Guitars, any news updates, post-lawsuit, anything that may be happening within the company, um, anything about the, uh, the appeal process that they applied for last year. And so this video is going to answer all those questions to the best of my ability. And I'm also here to shoot down a couple of circulated rumors that have been floating around the internet. Uh, before we kick this video off first, I want to say thank you for asking me those questions. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, but before we kick this video off, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with all your friends. So that way I can continue making content for all you beautiful people. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing kicked off with the appeal. Um, last year, somewhere in August of last year, um, Dean filed a motion with the court to appeal a copyright infringement lawsuit. Um, if you guys don't know about that, I do have a few videos um, on my channel covering the entire legal battle between Gibson and Dean. Unfortunately for us Dean fans, Gibson did win that copyright infringement lawsuit, um, basically saying that they are no longer allowed to make their V models, their Z models, their Grand Sport, and I think one of their acoustic models. And so the appeal was in an attempt to overthrow this ruling. Um, and so far there have been no updates from either the court or uh, Dean Guitars Armadillo Enterprises about where that appeal stands right now. I don't know if it's been tossed out. I do not know if they're still going to court over this. Um, it, I guess it all really depends on how full the docket is. My personal opinion is Gibson owns enough of Dean's money. Dean would be wise to stay out of court as much as I want this verdict overturned so that we can have those classic models again. I think it's better for Dean to continue moving forward uh, and reinventing the brand, bringing something fresh and new to the fans and players of Dean. And on the Dean front, they have been incredibly quiet. They have not even eked as much of a whisper of really what's going on internally. There have been no updates. There have been no PR posts. There have been no announcements of anything. Um, I really don't even know who is running Dean at this point. I know last year at the time of my last video, it was Pamela Rubinson taking ownership of Dean. I do know that Dean is still owned by Armadillo Enterprises, which has been their parent company for a long time. Uh, Pamela, if you guys don't know, is the wife of the late uh, Elliot Rubinson who brought the company to a really amazing place. He was a really great guy. Evan was the prior CEO of Dean until he was fired and removed from the company for embezzlement. I did cover that as well. I do not believe um, Pamela was supposed to be a permanent leader in that position. Uh, I don't think she was meant to do this for you know the long term, but I do not know if ownership of the company has switched hands or anything like that as far as who's leading the company. But I do know that Dean is still very much alive and they are moving in silence, um, which is not a bad idea considering all the trouble they have been. They have uh, pretty much kept their names out of the news. They've been out of court, at least for now, which is smart. Gibson does own a lot of Dean's money. So I think it's a good move for Dean as a business to stay out of court and to move forward. And when it comes to the moves that Dean has made in silence, we definitely do have to address the elephant in the room, and that is the insanely overpriced Kerry King Overlord. And, and that was announced at NAM this year, and if you guys have looked at uh, Dean's NAM booth this year, it was really sad. Dean used to have a really nice spread of guitars on the wall. All, you know, they had new models, um, I mean, granted, they haven't really introduced many new models over the past couple years, but I mean, the wall only had like a few different models on it, and it just looked really empty and really sad because Dean is a company that has a great legacy and, you know, has a lot of potential even now to overcome whatever obstacles they've been through. 
but a $7,000 guitar is not a way, in my opinion, to bring yourself out of that debt that was incurred by all the legal expenses and all the court losses against Gibson. I'm not saying that's why they did it. I mean, again, Kerry King did design the guitar, but I think, and this is my opinion, and I think I speak for a good bit of the Dean guitar players. I think Dean needs to really focus on the guitars that made them great. Now, granted, at the moment, we can't get those Z models, those V models, and that's fine. I mean, it's not fine to me, but it's fine because that's the law now. Um, they need to focus on the guitarists that put them in business anyway, and that's the working class guitarists like you and I. Um, I think, for starters, they do need to release, and everybody wants this, but we have not seen it yet. We want Dean to unleash a few new models. Everybody wants to see a new Dean. Um, right now, unfortunately, the only new Dean we're seeing is that $7,000 Overlord, which is ridiculous. And I think Dean missed the mark by quite a few miles. Slayer is over with. Not saying that there aren't a great deal of Slayer fans, but I feel like this would have been more lucrative, one, if the guitar was lower in price, and two, if Slayer was still touring and releasing records. Slayer's retired. I really don't know what Kerry King is up to these days, but I feel like if they really wanted to maximize their profit on this, um, they would have capitalized on another artist that is still relevant and is still alive and is still making great music and has influence. Not saying that Kerry King does not. And here's another thing. Dean's roster of artists, even though they've lost a lot of their big ticket names, is still quite healthy. Um, and this is where I want to knock down one of those rumors that I heard earlier this year. There was a big rumor online saying that Michael Shanker left Dean Guitars to go to Sawtooth. I literally browsed Dean's website and Sawtooth's just across, uh, just across reference, so I knew what I was talking about. Um, Dean is, uh, Michael Shanker is still a licensed, registered, endorsed Dean artist. He is on their website. He is not on Sawtooth's. So, guys, don't worry. Michael Shanker has not went anywhere. As far as his future with Dean, I don't know. As we all know, he played a lot of traditional Dean Vs. Um, so I'm not sure if there will be a new Michael Schenker model. But, I mean, for a guitarist in his stature, he can continue playing his old Vs. What sucks for us is if we wanted to get a Michael Schenker signature right now, we can't. And that's why I said just a few seconds ago... They need to capitalize on a current guitarist that's playing Dean that has influence. Um, if they could release a new Shanker model, I don't know how that would work. It would definitely be different. Maybe a different take on the V. Uh, I think people will be coming out there to buy it. And I think that's what Dean really needs to think about outside of pricing. And that's why I'm saying they need to continue to focus on the guitars that made them famous. That 79 series. Those are incredibly made guitars. Um, they have a lot of bells and whistles for five to six hundred dollars. And you know, you can get real Floyd Roses, you can get set neck guitars, um, and they hold up well. They're not toys. If you upgrade those guitars from where they are, like put in some aftermarket pickups and whatnot, these things can be taken to gig after gig. And for five to six hundred dollars, that's great. So Dean needs to continue focusing on those guitars, the 1980 Cadillacs, stuff like that. And I will say that they're doing a great job at continuing those, as well as the Select Series. The Select Series should still be their flagship of top-of-the-line, affordable, premium-grade guitars. Now, that being said, they do need to make a new line of working-class guitars uh, for guys like us, um, make it affordable and loaded with spec. That's what brings me to Dean. That's what brought me to Dean. I've been playing guitar for 21 years, and for 13 of those 21 years, I have been a Dean enthusiast and a Dean player. Three of my four electric guitars are Dean, and one of the reasons that I still continue to stand by them is they put incredible spec and make professional-grade guitars for a fraction of the price of their competitors. 
So with that in mind, I would really like Dean to release at least two or three new guitars um, that are in that working class price range with those spec that we know and can trust Dean to put out. And another thing I think Dean is doing wrong, though don't get me wrong, I'm still supporting Dean. I'm still flying the flag. I'm just seeing red flags here. Um, like Jonathan Donnays of Shadows Fall and Anthrax. He plays uh, a signature USA Custom Exile. You cannot find that as a production model. You have to order it through the custom shop, which means mad money. And if they had made that into a production model, that's one new guitar. Be, albeit a signature guitar. But people would come out and buy something like that. Now, that being said, they still have big names like Jonathan Donnay's, you know, Anthrax. They just recently signed um, the basis of Nervosa to the Dean family. You still have a lot of big ticket names on that website. Are they Dimebag Daryl? No. Are they uh, Dave Mustaine? No. Um, but you still have Michael Schenker. You still have a lot of the other pre-existing uh, Dean artists and a lot of new ones. So that catalog, if you take a look at it, is alive and kicking. So, I mean, why don't we focus on doing more, one, with them, and two, on working class guitars. Um, as it stands right now, that is the only update that I have for Dean. Um, these are my opinions, and I think I may speak for a good deal of Dean players about what they want to see from Dean. I want next year's NAM or Winter NAM even for Dean to at least have a few um, new models and, and make them affordable. Everyone wants an affordable Dean. You know why? Because they come a great spec. Outside of that, guys, unfortunately, I don't have much more of an update. These are the things that I found out, so you guys know. Hopefully, we'll know more about the legal saga as it continues. You can count on me to be there when something does happen. And uh, again, thanks for supporting me, supporting this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back later with more content. You guys rock. Have a great week.